Last uh, uh, summer, kind of makes you wonder if the fight gets into the later rounds. Will he be able to last? Only time will tell there. Orlan Norris is confident. We'll have highlights of the fight and the post-fight comments tonight following the game on Eyewitness News. Well, kickoff now is just about 10 minutes away. It's UNLV and BYU coming up on no Channel 8. up in America tonight with two more successful coaches than BYU's Lavelle Edwards and UNLV's John Robinson. And in the entertainment capital of the world, it's the biggest show in town. BYU at UNLV. Next. Live from Sam Boyd Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada, the 19th-ranked BYU Cougars and the Rebels of UNLV. Good evening, everybody. I'm Dave McCann. To say there's electricity in the air doesn't quite cut it because the lights are always on in Las Vegas. But there is a special atmosphere to this one tonight. It is homecoming for UNLV. It is also grand opening of the renovated Sam Boyd Stadium. Earlier tonight, Carol Harder, president of UNLV, and Charlie Cabanero, the athletic director, cut the tape on this project. $18 million went into this facility in the offseason. The artificial carpet was replaced with natural grass. A three-story press box stands here and everyone is smiles about the new facility at Sam Boyd Stadium. Vegas. Total yard story BYU 87, UNLV 13 but thanks to a tank which is bouncing it to the outside. BYU that time playing a little bit off expecting pass so they gave up big chunks of yardage but still brings up a fourth down. From the 33 yard line UNLV will punt that's what you have to do when you don't have a field goal kicker who has any confidence and Chitani tries to pin it down and he does BYU will start from their own two-yard line. Well, you mentioned, Dave, a field goal kicker without any confidence, but a punter with all the confidence in the world. Chitani has been outstanding for UNLV all year. Not just booming the ball in a good average, but he's been able to pooch the ball down when they've needed it. And this is just a great punt. Look as that thing just dies. The coverage is good. And now BYU struggling with field position. They've started deep in their own territory twice now. This one inside their own three-yard line, inside the two, in fact. Jeremy Rudolph is in the locker room with a pulled groin. Not sure how soon we'll see him again. The noise level rises. Frederick from his own end zone on first down, and there's not much room for Tahi, and he struggles to get back. That is a, that is a beautiful sight. You can just see all of Henderson, Nevada, out in the distance, the twinkling lights, it is just as clear as can be. You can ask for a better night to play football. Corey Hankins now on special teams as Ray Chitani prepares to offer up another punt. And Dabney waiting for it. A high rocket launched by Chitani. Dabney has it on his 13-yard line. And he's brought down with the face mask. And Steve Newton, I believe, is the guilty man. And you know he got a lot of it because Dabney's progress came to an immediate halt. <laughs> That's a good way, way to describe it, David. Sometimes when you kick a ball as, as deep as that one was hit, that thing was an absolute rocket in his cornerback position. He stepped up, took on the block, and made the tackle, and no yard right back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be fourth and one. And John Robinson sends in the punting team. Ray Chitani will kick it. Jaron Dabney back on his 22-yard line. Chitani leading the conference in punting. He's kicked a lot tonight. And he kicks another rocket. Dabney lets this one bounce. And it takes a Chitani roll. And UNLV downs it on the two-yard line. Ray Chitani has been the most valuable player in this game for UNLV. And now if the defense could make something happen after a 66-yard punt. His longest coming into tonight was 62. And he's launched a couple of rockets. Well, you always tell your receivers if they can get to the football, your punt return man, you've got to get there and catch it because this is what can happen. It was a good punt with a lot of hang time. Cover team was down there. Worst case scenario for the return team, you want to fair catch the ball and get up there and get under it. A big roll and a 66-yard result. Official now 67. So we'll give Chitani all the credit he is due. And BYU's on their own two. He is due. And BYU's on their own two-yard line. Federick back to throw and he's going for it all. And he's going for hooks. And he's got him. 